We're here at GSI and demonstrating ASTM D as in David 5199. It's smooth thickness of uh, geomembranes. Please realize there's three procedures within the standard and uh, we're running procedure B. First what we need to do is verify this dead weight uh, device, the dead weight micrometer. It has a uh, dead weight on top of it which is applying a pressure to a uh, presser foot. This presser foot, which is down here, is uh, circular in nature. It's uh, 0.25 inches in diameter, or 6.35 millimeters in diameter. Uh, normal pressure is applied and uh, weight, and that goes through the uh, rack and pinion. The, uh, it's applying a 2.9 psi uh, presser to this uh, foot, or 20 kPa. To verify this device, we typically use a uh, gauge block. This gauge block is uh, 0.1 inches in thickness, and here you see we verified this. We're a little bit off uh, to the uh, ten thousandths place, but this was is within tolerance for us at uh, GSI. We'd like to see a re-zero of the material, and it certainly gave that. And now we're ready to go as far as testing is concerned. Uh, this is for smooth geomembrane. The first geomembrane that I'll test is uh, this smooth geomembrane before you. It's a circular sample. You do have to press down on the sides of the material so that there's no curl. Some of these materials are quite stiff and you can't leave them in the machine in isolation. We'll press on the two opposing sides. It's tough to do. Uh, I'll use the pen so you can see it. Uh, 62.6 or 62.7 uh, mils in thickness or 0 0.0627 inches in thickness. This is for the geomembrane. You'd like to see it go back to zero, which we did. The next is a uh, film, and this film is much thinner than the geomembrane. Here you see it again using uh, fingers to push down any curl in the material and this is giving 11.2 uh, mils or 0 .0112 inches in thickness. like to see the uh, return to zero of the, uh, the gauge after the test and uh, certainly it returned to zero and this is a very good test. ASTM D is in David 5199 you'd have to run 10 uh, specimens and give the, the average of the 10 specimens to uh, comply with the uh, specification value in GM13. Thank you very much.